want to give some shout outs to people that have impacted my life so greatly beyond measure because I followed the keys to the kingdom and these are the results that came. So shout out to Jesus, the one and only, the man, the myth, the legend. No, I'm kidding. Our Lord and Savior, Holy Spirit, God the Father, thank you for providing for me. When people hear your name, they just can't avoid you, right? Either people are going to hate you, people are going to love you, and that's just the way it is. And so my goal is to just soften people's hearts. And I know you, Lord, have the ability, unlike any other, to soften someone's heart so that they may see what they are truly worth in this world. And Lord, I got to just, I got to shout you out, Lord, right? Because if I don't, who will? I want to make sure that when I die, that it is smooth sailing when I enter the gates. I don't want to be asked by Michael, right? The leader of the Lord's army, I believe it is, if I'm not mistaken, either Mar Michael or Gabriel, I forget who runs the military department in the kingdom of heaven, I forget. But what I'm getting at is I don't want to approach the kingdom of heaven and the gatekeeper says, where's your passport? Where's your identification? I don't see, you don't have access. You're gonna have to make a 180 and go back. I don't want that to happen. Listen, I don't know what happens after life. I'm betting, I'm putting all my chips, all my money, I'm putting everything on Jesus because he's the only one I know, historically, the only man that lived, died, resurrected, and was witnessed by over 500 people, that he was actually resurrected, and there is, there's never been more evidence of a death ever before than Jesus Christ. So I'm like, you know what? I'm putting my chips on that. I respect Buddha, I respect Muhammad, I respect the six million gods, but none of them died for me like that Jesus did. None of them bled like he did for me and my sins and my iniquities. So I got to put all my chips on that. And if I can utilize and leverage my financial skills, talents, and developments to win people to Christ, to save souls, right? And I'm going to do that. And I'm going to put Jesus on the spot. This is a, what a lot of you Christians and Catholics forget to do, is you do not challenge the word. All you do is believe in it. You're given the template, which is the Bible. You're, you're given the template. You read the scriptures. You recite everything. You pray, but you don't actually operate in it. You don't actually get the promises that God wants to give you. Why? Because you're just saying the template. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. That's just the template. You got to personalize that and access the keys. You got to do what it says or else you're going to be in the wrong courtroom. You're, gonna, you're not, you're not going to be in the right alignment. I got to shout him out because I put him on the spot. And I say, look, if you're real, Jesus, you got to do this for me. If I give in your name, it says that you will give beyond whatever I do. So if you're all-knowing, you're all-powerful, you're this, you're this almighty God, and you got this word, and you're the creator of all things, well, I'm going to challenge your word, not because I don't believe in it, right? Not because of that. But I want to know that he will stick to his word. Are you going to forsake me? It says you won't, right? It says you will not forsake me no matter what. It says that I am saved if I confess your name. Well, guess what? I'm confessing it, Lord, in front of all these people because I know how you, how you are. Because when I go to heaven, you're like, hey, if you weren't willing to confess and share your love for me in front of man, how can I do it in the kingdom for you? When you go to the afterlife, how can I represent you if you don't represent me? How is that going to work? That don't make no damn sense. So shout out to Jesus. All right. That's my spiel on that. I'll move on to the next which is my mother. God bless you, mom. Thank you so much. Family, I got my, got my uh, sister and my niece with me right now in the background. They're being super quiet, and I appreciate that. So shout out to my family. Shout out to my friends, my close, close friends. Shout out to Allison, 
my girlfriend, <coughs> wife, <coughs> excuse me on that. <coughs> yeah, shout out to her. Joshua, my uh, compadre, my constituent, my brother in Christ, my brother from another mother. Okay, God bless you, Joshua. Shout out to all of my kingdom citizens. Shout out to all my kingdom citizens and clients that are in the house right now and those that will catch the replay. We got 257 people watching and I want to say a, a probably like 30% or so are one-on-one -on -one clients. So uh, I do appreciate that the people that I've been serving not only did I help them get result right for their own finances and put them in a better position, but they found so much value that they actually, they give me, they give me this because this is what is used in the United States. So they give me this and then I put it in my pocket. Before I put all of it in, I give it back to the king. Then I got to pay the U.S. taxes to live in that country, right? So I got to pay taxes to that kingdom. I got to pay taxes to the kingdom of the king of kings, okay? Then I got to manage what's left over. And so when I'm managing it, I'm practicing my skills. I'm getting better at my skills. Okay, this is what I'm good at, money. Okay, let me just keep focusing on the money. This is what I'm good at. This is what I can do. And then more people keep coming in. So this is what you want to do, right? Whatever it is that you have a gift in, you must seek it, search it, discover it, study it, practice it, have gratitude over it, continue to give, manage the resources, and obey the law. Be an obedient person. Just obey, 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 right? You're not going to, um, how should I say? It's not going to hurt you when you obey. It's only going to help you grow, right? So shout out to all my clients, Kingdom Citizens. We are, to be exact, we're 909 Kingdom Citizens that have paid me some sort of money that have access to my kingdom in, in some sort of way, whether it's a, a lower tier purchase or they purchase the one-on-one. -on -one. We've got 909 kingdom citizens and we have 300 one-on-one -on -one kingdom citizens that uh, work with me one-on-one. -on -one. So that is a powerful thing and I absolutely love every single one of you. Next is my business relationships. Shout out to Alex, my God. The things that Alex and I are doing right now, ladies and gentlemen, is no joke. This guy is like, I think one year, two years younger than me. He does all, um, you know, Facebook ads, social media marketing, uh, sales marketing. This guy is a rock solid dude. Um, kingdom man. I respect him. He's been with me since day one. So shout out to Alex. If you need to reach out to him, you can go on my website. You'll see. Or if you subscribe to my newsletter, you'll you'll see information about him, the links, everything's on my website. You go to the resources page and you'll see it. He actually helps people 10X their business, right? 10X their revenue, just like he did for me. Went from zero to uh, a half a, a quarter million in revenue. And then now we're in month eight of 2020. I already blew past the quarter million mark. So Alex helped me make a half a million so far from 2019 to uh, beginning of 2019 to mid 2020. So I can't complain, can't complain at all. Good man. To my other uh, Joshua, right? So I got another Joshua in my kingdom who uh, edits all my videos. So all those intros, outros, and pop-ups that you guys see on the other edited videos, that's my boy Joshua killing it all the way in England, right? Awesome guy, respect him. Sebastian, another kingdom man. He does business credit services. He is awesome. Taught me a lot of stuff. Another kingdom man. Brittany, a queen. Another queen I know. Highly effective in the credit repair space. I'm sure a lot of you have worked with Brittany in some way, shape, or form, or have seen her on my channel along with Alex. Some people have seen Sebastian, but Brittany with the, the personal credit repair, awesome. So thank you for that. Shout out to my mentor, Steve Parisi, who does IBC, right? So this is him right here. If you go to IBC Global, that's his YouTube channel, right? And then all you have to do, whether you're watching his videos, you've already been watching, all you gotta do is mention my name. They're gonna take good care of you, right? Because they'll probably ask, hey, how did you find us? How did you find, 
you know, Infinite Banking. And if it was through me originally, just mention my name because you're going to get access to me should you design one of your own policies. I give a gift for everyone that does uh, put a policy in place and mentions my name. Like I've given gifts and access to me one-on-one -on -one to ask questions, to go over strategy, right? Because I know, I, like I said, I work with so many people that I personally don't have the capacity to work with each individual person to design a policy, which is why I teamed up with Steve and partnered with him because that's what his team does all day long is design policies. So in fact, they're actually better than me at designing policies, right? Me, I just know and understand how it should be set up. And then I request the information. I send it to Steve, sends it back to me. I send it back to the client. We talk, we converse. I think my specialty is strategy on the infinite banking concept, actually, you know, putting it to use and that good stuff. So shout out to him, shout out to Kimberly, who may or may not be watching right now, but another mom that I support in the legal shield business. I got a legal shield business that is tied into what uh, I do. It's in perfect alignment, uh, kingdom perpetuation, things like that. So they got really, really good products and services. And uh, I, I partner with Kimberly in that company. Moving on, I want to shout out Wealth Nation, Carmen and Darius. Um, there is a video that went viral, I believe, in the financial space. Okay, if you guys didn't catch that video, man, that was just awesome. Uh, it was a ton of fun doing that interview with Carmen and Darius on Wealth Nation. The videos on their channel has like over 150K views. And I was giving them a testimony the last time I spoke to them. I was like, look, that video put me on the map because my subscribers went from like 15, 16K after that video and two months later, which is to date, we're at like 26 plus thousand and then 2000 members in the Facebook group. So I'm just like, wow, what a great interview that was. A lot of good value. So I got to give them a shout out because literally everything that I was selling in my program got sold out because of that video. Like, I, like all the people that enroll were basically, oh yeah, we heard you on Wealth Nation. Oh yeah, we heard you on Wealth Nation, Wealth Nation, Wealth Nation, Wealth Nation. I'm like, oh my God, that's awesome. So I got to give a shout out to them. Shout out to VIP Financial um, with uh, Matthew Pilmore. Great guy. Honestly, that was the channel that I watched quite a bit before starting my own YouTube channel. And I kind of, in a way, just tried to mimic what he was doing and made it my own. Because I was like, all right, this, this seems to be like the guy that talks about the velocity banking, infinite banking. So if he believes in it and he's got like a quarter million subs and he's killing it. Um, you know what? I know I'm not crazy in the head. This gotta work. This concept has to work. It, it, it must make sense. Um, shout out to him and uh, shout out to Mike Adams as well. I like Mike Adams a lot. He's got some solid videos. He does more just face to face videos and a couple, you know, spreadsheets and pop ups and things like that, but solid, solid work. Like what he talks about. Steven Gardner, if he's watching, not sure, but another solid individual. I like him a lot. He, uh, this, if, if you guys don't know who Steven Gardner is, you just type that on YouTube. That dude went from like 500 subscribers to 500,000 subscribers because he's been talking about the stimulus uh, bill for a little while. And I don't know, his videos just went viral. It's crazy. But you got to give thanks, right? You got to give honor where honor is due. And this is how you make a lot of money, which is the, which is the resource. But what you really get is the relationships and the knowledge and the wealth and just being in the room, right? So guys like Garrett Gunderson, Matthew Pillmore, Mike Adams, Wealth Nation. Look, when I got onto the scene, right? When I got onto the scene of, of making videos on YouTube, because I'm the youngest player in the game, probably right now. I think I'm the youngest player. I haven't seen any other person that uh, has their channel, like, you know, gone a little viral, has a, a nice, decent following. Have not seen it. So my whole mentality going into it was like, look, I just want to be in the room. 
I just want to be in the room. When the information goes down, when the information goes out, when new stuff is being introduced, I just want to be in the room. I don't care about being the smartest, the richest person in there. I just want to be there, right? When new laws get put out, when new tax laws come out, I want to know what's going on. So that's why I listen to guys like Garrett and Matthew Pillmore, Carmen and Darius, Steve Parisi, you know, Mike Adams. Um, these, these guys and gals, these kings and queens are operating at a high level. So if I can just piggyback, that's all I'm doing. I, I, when they make videos, I make videos about what they made because I know it's going to rank high. It's not that hard. So if Mike Adams comes out with a video that says, how to pay off debt with a credit card properly, Denzel comes out with a video, how to use credit cards properly. If Matthew Pimler comes out with a video about why he loves HELOCs, Denzel comes out with a video, how to do velocity banking with a HELOC. So I'm just feeding off their views, that's it. And so for the people that don't like Matthew, they come to my channel. Oh, I like Denzel. For the people that don't like Carmen, for the people that don't like Mike, they'll go to Carmen or they'll go to Mike or people who don't like me, they go to Mike. You know, there's so many people on planet Earth and you can't serve everyone. You got to focus on your niche, right? You focus on how you bring value to the marketplace. And I mean, 99, probably 95% of your problems get solved once, once you figure out that this has no power over you and that you don't actually need this. You don't want to rely on this, although this gets you things like a business, like a product, like a service, like clothes, watches, right? Access to information. But, it, but it's not this that will bring you the relationships, right? The, the partnerships, the love, the passion, the results. So it's, it's not the money that's going to cure your sickness, right? Because if I gave you all this money right here, right now, most of you wouldn't know the first thing to do with it. If I gave you a million dollars, you wouldn't know the first thing to do with it. So you would lose it because you don't know how to manage it because you can't manage a hundred dollars. Every time you get a hundred dollars, do you give 10? If you don't, you're out of alignment, period. Even if you needed the whole hundred, it's, it's, it's the principle. You gotta get the principle down. So if you lost your job, there's a reason for that. You became ineffective. There's some people during this crisis that have gone way up, promoted, advanced, because they got the principles down. So it had nothing to do with maybe the circumstance, although there are, you know, situations, I get it, where things are just, you know, bad things happen to good people, get that, totally get it. There's a reason behind that. Because if it happened to you, a bad thing happening to a good person, if it happened to you, it's because it was to either build your character up and mold you so that you can be a blessing and impact to others. So me, growing up without a dad, prison running through my family, uh, a poor mindset, low income in my household, nobody knows jack about jack when it comes to money and the kingdom, yet I just happen to have all the knowledge. Hmm. I know a guy who can help. His name is Jesus, right? That's, that's the person that's brought it all into perspective, okay? So that is all the shout outs. Thank you for everyone that's participated in the success of this channel, whether you gave $1 or you gave $1,000 or you gave four thousand dollars because i have people that have given so much to my kingdom it is no joke I have, i've had people given so much money i'm like oh my god oh my god that's powerful and thank you for all the other people like that have worked with alex worked with sebastian and Brittany and steve and people that work with carmen and darius if if that's your your agent look we're we're, we're all in the same boat that's what I like about the creative financial space is, you know, Denzel has his way of doing things. Mike has his way of doing things. Carmen and Darius, they got their way of doing things. Matthew Pillmore, right? Everybody's got their style, right? And you want, you want to figure out, you know, who can I trust? Who do I know, like, and trust the most? And I, and I roll with them for a little while, right? Or maybe I roll with them for life. I'm like, you know what? No matter what, I'm locked in for life. That's it. 
working with that, that group. And what's great about this creative financial space is that there's, there, it's never ending. So we don't, we don't just surrender to a traditional way of doing things, right? We want to keep evolving, keep improving. We want to get better, right? So I know like guys like Garrett, Matthew, and Carmen, like when they make mistakes, they own up to it. Like, oh yeah, you know, I made a mistake. I know I do. I want to say like my first 50 videos, all those videos are probably mistakes. I wouldn't doubt it. I probably could have did something better here. I probably could have got a better line of credit at a lower interest rate. Probably, right? You're going to make mistakes. But when you own up to it and you just keep moving forward, keep pressing forward, oh my goodness. And then if you got the kingdom, oh man, can nothing stop you if you got the kingdom.